Hi, my name is Billy Lerner. I'm a controls engineer with Airline Hydraulics. And today I'm gonna to show you a table we made for a customer of ours. Not seen here is a third conveyor that's downstream. That conveyor will pass product through an oven, which gets to this conveyor here, and eventually this conveyor here. We have a pneumatic actuator uh, in front of us, and once the product passes through the prox switch a handful of times, whatever uh, they select, it will actuate the actuator, pushing the product forward so that they can package and sort through said product. We have the Eaton Easy E PLC down here, which has an LCD screen, as well as a couple buttons on the PLC. In this case, I have configured it so the up down buttons are a uh, increment or decrement for how many components need to pass through the proc switch. I can easily switch it to four, which shows up on the display below. Here we have the start and stop buttons. Once we start it, the light goes on. And when we stop it, the light goes away. While it's running, we can also hit the e-stop. And you'll notice that the conveyors have halted and the reset light goes on. We clear the e-stop with hitting that reset and then we can run again. Starting with the power input, we have an Eaton disconnect switch going to some Eaton breakers, following up here to a bus bar with more Eaton breakers. And then we have our Eaton DM1 VFDs. We also have an Eaton Easy E uh, PLC with a Schmerzel safety relay, some Phoenix contact terminal blocks, and a Phoenix contact power supply. On the outside here, we have an Icotech cable gland as well. If your company is looking to automate their processes, they can get in touch with your salesman from Airline Hydraulics.